Health Watch is presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. Here, caring for you. Welcome to Health Watch presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. We're talking about young people and colorectal cancer, and joining us is Dr. Jennifer Davids with the Division of Colorectal Surgery. Historically, what has been the recommended screening age for colorectal cancer? So historically, the recommended age depends on your risk factors. So for patients with no risk factors, meaning no immediate family members with a history of polyps in the colon or colorectal cancer, the typical screening age is 50. It may be as early as 40 for patients that have a family history or even 10 years before the age where their close family member was diagnosed. In terms of symptoms, patients should be mindful of noticing um, blood on the toilet paper or dripping into the bowl. Often patients think that it has to be hemorrhoids, but sometimes it could potentially be something else, such as a cancer or a polyp. Uh, additionally, abdominal pain, change in the shape or frequency of bowel movements, unintentional weight loss. Is there a misconception that colorectal cancer affects only people over the age of 50? So historically, there's an idea that it's a disease of elderly or aging people. People generally know when they turn 50, that's the year they get their colonoscopy. But what we've found by looking at large studies of individuals is that there's an increase in the last few years of the number of patients that are under 50 years old that are, having, that are getting colorectal cancer. Are there any differences in the cancers found in younger patients versus older patients? So there are some studies where people have looked at the colorectal cancer in individuals under 50 years old and compared them to patients that are over 50 years old. And some of the findings of those studies do suggest that in some of the younger patients, the cancers may be more aggressive. Do the survival rates differ between patients? So what they found is looking at younger patients, even when patients are of the same stage, the younger patients often have a more aggressive disease and the survival may be lower. Do younger patients typically undergo a more aggressive treatment regimen than older patients? So it really depends. Age is just one factor in how a patient is treated. Um, from a surgical perspective, often the surgery is uh, quite the same, but in terms of whether they may need chemotherapy and what those agents are and the duration of those agents, it may depend somewhat on their age and other factors. 